we are here with the bronze round. We've got Aatrox in the blue color. He's picking the colony here. And on the red side, we have Almirante with Shipmaster. Now, this is the... All the... Sorry, go on. I was going to say, of all the uh, leaders that he, uh, quote-unquote, turtling with as uh, Aatrox, he's finally going my favorite in Colony. Um, I started to say earlier with P2 that uh, this map isn't designed well to set up a turtle, more so than that. We we did see it earlier, but I don't think as I think it could have easily been countered hmm. uh, by EOD. Just didn't do it. We'll see if a a Almirante has a better better luck doing it. I really like this chopper harassment on the early grunt. It almost always works, but the sentinels are aggroed onto it. Gotta give it a bit more space so that they return to the grunts. Uh, so yeah, the chopper is kind of in an awkward spot here. Oh man, he's actually helping the grunts. But Aatrox did manage to take the middle power, so that is very nice. Also trying to get the power node captured on his own side. I'm not sure he can. Oh, it's so close. Just about manages to. And the early honor guards coming out as well. Let's see if we... We're not going to see a hunter captain, I don't think, in tier, tier 1. It's more of a tier 2 thing. Although, if you get it in the garrison, hmm. Yeah, you, you just, if you're going against Shipmaster, you basically have to have Engineers to go with the Hunter Captain, if that's what you do. Otherwise, an Honor Guard will eat it alive with Cloak. Speaking of Honor Guard, here comes the Honor Guard. Ah, uh, yep. Looking at the map Let's right now, should have a field day. Yeah, Shrapnel Rounds pretty... is coming against so Expecting a, a bunch of choppers, but Honor Guard can just shred through choppers too if the numbers don't get high enough. Weird thing is, we haven't seen a skit so far. Like, skit choppers are actually really resistant to this stuff. Once you have 8 plus, you can take on the Honor Guard too with Shrapnel Rounds, and uh, then you support them with Goliaths. It's all pretty good stuff. Numbers aren't there right now. I'll tell you what is there, an honor guard right in front of his his main. <laughs> that is There's tough. a skit that you were talking about. Actually, he's going to go for the garrison first. I suppose that's okay. Ah, he's about to find the skit. There's a lot of ghosts to go with this honor guard, too. No vehicle shielding just yet, but it's gonna be queued up momentarily, I assume. Maybe, maybe power extractor upgrade first. Oh, no, no, no. vehicle nope. shielding. Definitely gonna get that first, yeah, just to be safe. Forces out the cloak, to, uh, though. That honor guard is sitting there, menacingly. <laughs> Menacing. There's no turrets or watchtowers on this base. So the honor guard can do whatever. It chooses right now. Yeah, well, not too much going on right now, but for those that ju just joined, uh, this is the third place match of the first qualifier in the 1v1 uh, Sentinels Pro League. There's going to be $575 uh, at least on the line, probably more in the main event. But yeah, this is a qualifier for free. Uh, people just get points and we'll see who can make it in. The top eight will, but there's free qualifiers. Now that honor guard is starting to do work on these choppers, but at least one of them has a skit. Would have been nice for two to have that, but that's not gonna ha happen. So yeah, he killed a skit right off when it spawned, so that's where the second one went. And the, another. the thing is, he could he has double the amount of ghosts here. You can just ram all these choppers down. And that's exactly what happens. The one with the skit is gone. The other one is gone. The only thing is, can he keep the honor guard from having to extract? It looks like he will. Bird is being built, but gonna die. 
thing is, there's more units coming in here for Ami than there are for Aatrox. I mean, what's he gonna do about it? Nothing. It looks I don't like... think he has it either. I, I think this is a loss already. Just two. Uh, he's trying to go live the main. There should be enough ghosts to get back there though. Okay. He does kill a mini too. So the Goliaths. Yeah, he can just extract back. That's what he can do. But yeah. um, he didn't extract the ex uh, the honor guard, which is obviously the right play. Yeah, he can but... keep doing damage on the other side. The uh, scouts will be destroying these Goliaths easily enough. The only blue spot Water on the other side is the flag. <laughs> yeah. I I do hope for Ami he takes down that extractor, because like that's just sitting there menacing as you like to say. <laughs> 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 Gathering power and stuff. Yep. Should be killed. The ghosts are coming back, so there should be a lot more damage here than there was before. Only one turret. There's a skit dead. By the way, do you think... He just doesn't want a hero. Yeah. Hero to get built, so... Yeah, War Council this, first. It's not gonna deal with that. Uh, we're gonna see a ninja base from Aatrox, and maybe you can make the hero from somewhere else. Like a middle mini, but... It will take time to get back. Yeah, the Honor Guard now has that one. It's gonna shred through these choppers or anything else that's here. I don't think Ami went beam. Oh no, the ghosts are missing the apex. This is such a bad bug. Uh, you got this asymmetric gap in there. And they tried to shoot from the middle of the model, but there's nothing there. So, hitbox is wrong. Rip. The way you want to go around it is you target the apex from... Um, Straight on instead of from the side. Yeah, just from the apex. Or you use melee, which is fine. Yeah, just use the honor guard's sword and just get that work done that way. Do I take down one more harvester and spirit support comes in? Yeah, I mean, can just keep the pressure up forever. And in fact, he could like expand behind this. I think he just took out another. Uh, Goliath attack with the four ghosts that are coming in. Sorry for missing it. Is that Aatrox upgrading the hero? Looks like it. Uh, okay, that Harvester does have a health bar. <laughs> it's looking weird there for a sec. He upgraded the turret up front that was guaranteed to be killed by the uh, spirit support. It upgraded and immediately died. Did we... Like, not see a heal? Why, why wasn't there a heal? Saving it for the hero to come out, I guess? That... Uh, wasted, uh... NG Swarm, you mean? Was there a different en uh, Engineer Swarm as well? Or nope, there? that's the only one I've seen. Okay. In that case, he could have saved, like, the turret that was upgrading. But now Aatrox doesn't have power. What's he doing with it? Well, we have Locusts around the map for all me now from uh, coming from behind here. Oh my god. Yeah, with that, he can take over the minis. Yeah, I keep looking around to see if he's going to upgrade his honor guard and you just choose not to. It's hard to imagine you won't when you have a vet one hero. It also has got like Almost. a grand in power. It doesn't yeah. look like he's upgrading. Does he even have the the building for it? War Council? Oh, he doesn't. That's what I keep looking around for. But he just had to rebuild a mini, so it means they could probably just buy it then. Gotcha. Well, Capitano is out. However, no skits on top. Sure makes him less impressive by a lot. Fawn's helping, healing's helping, but it's not enough. Goes now had enough with this mini in the middle, so Ami's taking it over. Expanding at the same time, and locusting the other base. 
In fact, he's cloaking himself so the Banshee can't shoot. The Locust will take down the Expo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what? He didn't go uh, beam because he ended up going raid or banish raid too. And then into uh, extract. There's the War Council, finally. Right now he's upgrading his Expo. Could upgrade to Tier 3 as well. But the Capitano is back. Looks like he's just gonna get ghosted, to be honest. Banshees are helping, though. Not just a little bit. There's a Reaver to counter them. Oh my god. Yeah, he does have a... Combat Repair now, so that's gonna be hard to deal with for a little bit. Once he gets enough in here. Oh, wait Another a spirit second. Support. Yep. That changes things. But that Honor Guard ran in before it shields back. And he just took damage, so... Well, at least he got the he got the kill on the hero. Capitano is still down, and Avi is never stopping with this attack. Can just wiggle the he hero. Went, he went reinforcements upgrades over upgrading his hero. What? Why? <laughs> and no I mean, I get free. it. Bell does what? I mean, that thing would just—he has no way of killing it if you just upgrade it. Kaboom, we have stars on ghosts. There's <laughs> multiple ghosts, though. really. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, you can't get up from your desk until you have a free star ghost. Yeah. I can't help it. I'm sitting there. He's... How is he not upgrading his hero? Just don't get it. Challenge mode. Yeah, right? Well, Aatrox is dealing with the ninja expos. Has good line of sight on things, at least. Okay, the next play for him is Devastating Host, and it's gonna be a while until he actually gets there resource-wise. I think he just unlocked a point. Instead of upgrading his uh, honor guard, he just builds a second war console. Oh, and then he sacks it the moment it got finished. Now he's upgrading his hero. <laughs> this is so backwards. Oh well. Another gen here. Oh, come on, Almy. Please don't let him sit here. Upgrade is in. One star now. Now it's just a handful of banshees for Aatrox. This is gonna be a problem long term. Finally has the skits on the hunter captain. Definitely a big difference maker. By the way, the damage from the skits. Also uh, helps the hunter captain captain regain health. Uh, for everyone in the chat, yes, Aatrox is number one on ladder. But ladder can give you a wide range of opponents. Tournaments are a very different set setting. Uh, oh, well, and Rock are usually at the top here. Yeah, part of what they're talking about is uh, he was number one on ladder because he used a second account to search himself out to boost his rank up uh, by just quitting. Is that yeah, true? That's what the, yeah, it's true. He's streaming himself doing it. Oof. And if you look at his war point, he has, it's the same two accounts that kept quitting over and over again. Oh, we don't moderate that. Yeah. 
Not in a, not in our jurisdiction. But <laughs> that's a yeah. that's a worthy of being pointed out because it's kind of, a, kind of a shitty thing to do. Yeah. If you want us to moderate that, then uh, please share your feedback. Like on Discord or on our website or something. But yeah, at the moment, there's nothing about it in our rules, so there's that. Well, there's the devastating host. Plus, Goliaths, this is a good attack. Uh, Hunter Captain oh, yeah, is just not it. there. Where's the uh, honor guard? Oh. I say honor guard, can just go back and clean that up? Locust is gonna fall probably. Oh my god, Locust got saved. This is what happens when you don't have a beam. That's a problem. He's gonna lose the honor guard too. Yeah. Oh me no! You you think this might be a little bit of a a pro situation oh. from Ami? If he loses his expo, it absolutely is. I mean, I don't see how he can... He's got some units here. He's still got two Vet 2 Hunters in the back. Jesus Christ. Actually, both of them have two Vet 2 Hunters. It's the Devos. But there's no vehicles here for... Well, actually... We got the Reavers come... that came from behind. He should be able to... save it. But he doesn't have any engineers, so. Oh, it's his free star. Oh, hunter. the hunter captain's here. Free star. Honor guard's back. He's gonna be able to kill the base because he can just bait it down. There's no healing anymore. Oh no, the, the taunts. <laughs> he still got the locust. <laughs> oh me no. His base is absolutely tells us two more, but they're like under construction still. Oh, he just placed them out. Oh. Is there enough damage? This base is so low. Are we gonna have a drop in maybe from Ami? Uh, when was the last one? Uh, it was it was when this attack started. Oh, you see the that's vet's ranger in the back. So yeah, he definitely doesn't have it back yet. So he has to manually build engineers if he wants any sort of healing. The shield's coming up though. Twenty five seconds out, but can he survive for that long? Two and a half bars of health. I don't think so. Not with that locust. There's another Goliath dropping it coming in. If he has beam, he could, but nope, he sacks. Well, 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 that's a big loss right there. And here is Aatrox with the tier 2.5 army, really. He's actually in tier 3 now. Uh, so you can keep going with the Hunter Captain upgrade. Also coming in, improved taunt, I assume. Is it already in? Health bar is looking chunky. Let me see, where is he? Yep, that's improved top. Hey, he's already oh, he's already going for reinforcements now. Say so if only he had that beam on the expo. Yeah, it would have certainly helped. You can at least get rid of one wraith as the beam is fast enough to do it. Well he kept the two that two locusts alive, and that's, oh, that's more too. than enough to just Slowly kill the uh, shield on the base, because that he has it has vehicle symbiote, so the range is way further than any turret would be yeah. able to hit. No, Atrox is not gonna push the main. There's no way. Um, there's just too many defenses here, plus the shield, plus the turret, and the other bases for army are still done. So, yeah, it doesn't look like a throw. Uh, it's certainly a more equal game than before, though. Uh, Colony has a fairly good time unless. He's gonna have to deal with all these displacements. I don't know. I, I, I think still he's in a bad spot. He probably has Dev Host coming off cooldown. It's a little bit away. It's not back yet, but it, it's not gonna be too far. That Locust on the high ground is more than enough to just kill several pads. So the onus is on Ami to do something. Ami is tier two, so he's, he's in trouble actually. Yep. Cause he can't approach that 
that army up on the ridge because the honor guard, uh, the hunter captain's in the garrison. The reaver's still there. I'm a forward teleport. Oh, he, <laughs> he messed up the taunt. Yeah, that might be bad. To be that fair, there's not much bad. here to actually kill the hunter captain. It can definitely get True. its its value. Yeah, you can probably get that one here. Yeah, yeah very good time to attack pretty much everything that's here. Oh my god, double skit wraith vet too. Love it. <laughs> it might actually stay oh, alive to seal. Yep. It's very nice. Did Ami get Didn't out? make it. Nope. Put to the corpse. Now with the hunter, hunters coming around, those locusts are not looking too hot. Problem is, he doesn't have that uh, high ground advantage like he did before in that garrison, but it allows Lamaranti a little bit of time to get back into this into a more comfortable position. Scare him. Scare him. Scare him. It's happening. Okay, we will be so happy. Yeah, um... This game's likely over. <laughs> <laughs> Ami is gonna have trouble doing this because just Shipmaster things, especially Tier 2 Shipmaster things. There's a Goliath on the main... Goliath drop on the main too, so... Scare but actually play defense at the moment. There's nothing to actually kill these Goliaths. And a Wraith for a little extra DPS. Shield's already fallen. Oh, Scare can play a defense. Plus he's got sure. a cloak gen and turrets. Yeah, there's nothing there's no detect here. These locusts can't do anything. On the main. Oh, Morante's in trouble. It's gonna be a spirit support. But I'm afraid it can't keep the gen alive, or the shield gen rather. So that's not coming back up anytime soon. Lots of damage being done here, and the scarab, like you said, is just chilling at home. Uh, nothing to worry about. Hey, what is this? Ami has a rally point in Aatrox's base. That's that's the other way around. <laughs> and Aatrox doesn't do that this time. What? <laughs> Somehow we're on plane opposites today. Needs to upgrade skits. Oh yeah, that's such a good upgrade, folks. Yep, and there's the dev host. More is the scarab can play behind and just kill the uh, expo. He can just walk and kill, walk from behind if he wants. Yeah, Aatrox has enough now um, in Ami's base. Then he killed the vet two locust, but that's about it with the beam. He saw his three Ooh, Almost got one. Three star hunters doing something uh, should be able to heal itself up a little bit. Maybe a taunt on these cloaked units. That would be pretty good. Oh my god, shield, shield comes up on the base. He should have teleport. And he gets it. No, I mean, uh, hunter captain. Oh, right. But Scarab is here, so. Or Scarab is coming, I should say. It doesn't really matter what happens here. This is just a stalling. And that shield is actually almost dead anyways. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the Hunter Captain should be saved if possible. Yep. He teleports uh, not that far, though. Whoa. Well, I guess he gets health back from whatever he can shoot, but the shields do need to go down for it. Yeah, that thing's probably dead now. Unless he has MG Shorm. Nah, he just used it, I think. So, goodbye to that. Mass Locust, not particularly great against the Scarab. So this might be an Aatrox win in the first game. And so uh, Peter is trying, right. waiting on the bench. That's a little while ago. Does Vehicle Symbiote on Skitters attach to something make them better? The answer is kind of. 
<laughs> it, it takes, there's two upgrades you get from vehicle symbiotes, more range and more armor. You get the more range, you do not get the more armor. <laughs> yeah, so, spitters attached to the units will have, to have, yeah, it will have, they'll be able to shoot farther, but that's about it. So you get half the benefit. But like, if you're calling in your devastating host and you're putting it on top of some skids, you might as well do that. I mean, it doesn't hurt. If you have vehicle symbiote leader power, you might as well. If you're not using it on other units. Oh, I mean, the death host is already uh, applying that. Right. I'm just saying in general. Yeah. If you have the opportunity to do it, do it, but it's not something to go out of your way for. No shield gen here. There's yeah. also not much base damage. Nature sure as hell is abusing it. Dropping in Goliaths now on this base and going to the scare a bit the scare to the other one. Seeing a bit of a counter. Trying to kill cloaked in fact. He needs to kill the engineers with the hunter captain. Well, too late. Cloak is down. Base is getting mained. Atrox is trying to buy bases all across the map. Loke is not particularly great against the Hunter Capitano, it's just healing itself, and there's the NG Swarm as well. Two Locusts gonna be going down already. Maybe even three or four. Oh my god. Yeah, there's anti-vehicle turrets in the very back of the base that are still doing a lot of damage, and one anti-air turret, which is slowly killing the engineers too, because they have splash damage. Wow. Somebody quit. <laughs> yeah, I assume that's gonna be Ami. Oh yeah, he wasn't stop. getting anything done. Can't stop the scare, man. That's too hard. color for game two we have got Aatrox and he's gonna be going more council first I love it uh, and on the wait which side you do you do blue <laughs> yeah okay in the red side you have Almirante <laughs> with Serena the reason I looked I'm like wait Serena that could be an armory first as well so I was like which one did you do <laughs> I'd like Wasn't that good. to happen that would be hilarious. They both went armory first. Well, here's what happened. Ami didn't get an extra marine or jackrabbit, and instead he's just getting the super early mini base. Uh, guess he's gonna be content with the one marine in the middle gathering. The other grunt he's ignoring. So yeah, Aatrox definitely getting ahead in the power gathered from the map game, but he's he's making a hero, so like he's gotta make money. Uh, yeah, very to. urgently. Hunter Guard is out. He's gonna have enough power to upgrade it immediately. But he now is finally building his first gen. So this thing needs to do a lot of work <laughs> here early. Yep. Or else not gonna be able to do much. Although I will say, if you're going for the main, ship mat or, uh, Serena is probably the worst leader to attack into. Because you're more than likely going watchtowers. As soon as he sees that honor guard, which he's already cloaked. Does he have it? I don't think he had vision on it yet. Wait, what? Oh, he's trying to hide well, it. But I'm able yeah. to see it nonetheless. Especially if this marine oh. gets attacked. Oh, he's moved um, the marine. Yeah, he walks looked. right back. He <laughs> looked. Where? Watchtower. Yeah. Because the moment it gets the moment it gets scouted, he just builds watchtowers on his main. Okay, and now then... he knows. Yeah, Marine's getting attacked, so yep, that's the moment. Ami. Oh, oh he oh, wasn't. We're okay. cheesing. We just cheese it. Very good. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but that honor guard is uh, can kill a lot of these guys pretty quickly. It's okay, Ami's pretty chill about it. 
<laughs> See what you did there. Yeah, very cool joke. <laughs> There's gonna be zero econ for uh, Aatrox this whole time though, because he could just these guys are just sitting in ice. He does have the mini though. He's gonna have a harvester over there, not getting attacked. Yeah, thing is, the resource income. It, you don't have to yep. be frozen. If you're just chilled, these buildings are essentially useless. EOD, uh, EOD is laughing in the chat. Oh, sorry, he's not related to this game at all. <laughs> Ami <laughs> is having a good time here, uh, economically. Even got a sniper in the middle. Didn't last very long, but he had it. Sniper's there. I think he's actually trying to kill this uh, honor guard. If he does, yeah. then the game's over. Well, maybe if he gets in the... Garrison, he can yep. last a bit longer. Yeah, that's a good spot to be. And I can go back to the base. There's gonna be a handful of ghosts, but honestly, Itrox can't afford them? This is tough. Some of these pads are starting to take a considerable, considerable, damn it, considerable <laughs> amount of damage. Can't freaking talk, I've been talking all day. Now he's gonna actually kill the extractor first. It's gonna shatter Oof. so much damage. Yeah, shatter damage is insane. I love the double barracks rush kaboom. This is uh, really entertaining to me. Not so much to mm -hmm. Etrox though, who's just lost the generator. That was all his power income. It's two mm. snipers now, so he has to actually kill multiple to get the detect. Yeah, he's getting slowed by all this uh, chill beam stuff. It hurts. Yeah, he also lost his gen, and he doesn't have enough power to upgrade it. So it's going to be a while before he actually gets back into this game, even if he does pull this one off. I'd be surprised if the Marines didn't get grenades soon. Uh, right now... Triple sniper. Oh my Honor god. Army <laughs> guard is so... This is when you just quit. Yeah, this is giga over. So Army takes game two in a very solid fashion with this counter rush. Unit is better than one hero. Confirmed. color we've got the gamer who is on his last leg but so are both actually so this game decides it all Aatrox is playing as Decimus and over in the red side Almirante is playing as Forge already got a little bit of harassment with a chopper here on the power right in front of Almirante's base the Sentinels have been made angry and they like to prefer the chopper but the Marines still getting a Bunch of hits there, so Chopper can stay did its job, I guess. They're trying to get the finish on that Marine, otherwise they'll <laughs> loop around and get to the healing zone. That's not happening. Yeah, but more oh importantly, Amarante stuck all the way around to get a mini on up behind Aatrox's Ooh. main. Already finished with the barracks being built. It was a very fast steal. So between the games, I just said that uh, Forge may be not the best pick for this map. I'm really curious what Ami's strat is. Like, if he takes over the back minis, he certainly has potential to go in the main and do damage. It would be really interesting. Forge has actually grown on me on this map a little bit, just because you oh, yeah. get all that extra eco early. So you, and a small map like this allows you to just spam like crazy with a little less concern. Mm -hmm. And the Forge Hog is not too far away from being wherever it needs to be. Yeah, what's interesting is we're going to see a hero from both players, apparently. Uh, Aatrox going for the War Council himself. But he hasn't picked up the side power, nor did he uh, take what used to belong to Almirante in the middle. Curious if he's going back there with the chopper now. Yeah, the only thing is for Almi, it's three minis to one. Now it's three to two. He just took the other one 
<laughs> on uh, Aatrox's side. Again, something to note is that he is Decimus. He does not have the ability to heal Pat, so any damage is... Like, with the leader power, I should say. So any damage is pretty... Like, the damage will stick. Unless he builds engineers, which is not likely. Looking at the pads, he doesn't have any apexes. So, these flamers hitting this gen are uh, more likely to kill it than other leaders. I actually didn't go Sui, so I decided to go Brutes. Which is interesting. I, I mean, they still win against the Hellbringers. Might be better cost-effectively, but certainly not as explosive. And sure. once the hero comes around here, I think that completely turns around. Certainly not helping too, too much, but there's enough Hellbringers anyway to get him with the Rabbit. Okay, there's the Warlord. Oh! There's the Slam. There's the downside of this. Does get the uh, Heavy Metal on. So now he's got to go over there and save it. Yeah, that was kind of acceptable for the Forge Hog as a trade. Because he can still shoot from far away and eventually regain the shields. Uh, Warlord now getting a little bit lower on health. Can't take it all day. Dude, it looks like a kill on the Warlord. This is real nice for Ami. There's no siphon. Absolutely. He got the perfect combo and it just was totally nullified by heavy metal. <laughs> yeah. Now imagine if there had been some grunt mines to follow up with. That would have been uh, devastation for the Forge Hog, but not the case, and Ami sticks around to do some more damage. Uh, more proxy units getting flooded in as well from the barracks, like you said. You can spam on this map. And I have to say this Almirante's... is not a scenario I often see. Yeah. Almirante is not really doing anything else, uh, because he still has his War Council, or his Armory from that Forge Hog, finally selling it for a second gen. We're talking, like, two minutes late. But, maybe he didn't have the supply at the time. Forge Hog's trying to get his shield back before it moves back in. The gen is almost certainly gonna go down now. No nodes are taking place, are to taken by either player, and you're not gonna be able to spam any Brutes and Sui's without a gen. He's down to 164 power. No income at all. He did rebuild the honor guard or the warlord, and the warlord's now going on offense. There's no turrets, so this is gonna be a, a sort of a base race. Gonna have to deal with that uh, those turrets up front for all me. No, I like to counterattack. For sure, the generator nope. could get bonked. Sure yeah, this position I actually favor Aatrox now. Because all he needs is really just grunt spam, and he has a bunch because he's not gonna have gens, but he has plenty of minis to build grunts. Yeah, even the Fortrock is actually turning around. Um, yeah, he can't really go anywhere because he does the shield doesn't back up yet. And he just took damage again right when it got the shield back up. He needs to go heal that thing. But he yeah. also doesn't really have time. Yeah, he's got no time to mess around, like, he can't do damage in the main of Aatrox either, but Aatrox is starting to do damage, he's actually stunning the pad and the heavy supply pad. Vortex is in, which means he can hurt those two buildings and the main at the same time. Plus, the generator is getting hurt now. Oh, man. Oh, with the Vortex, with the... the, the oh, boy. <laughs> Debuff and stun, so... The stun does make the building stop generating resources. Um, he's already trying to get a uh, base on the other side of the map. I don't think this is gonna work out. Looking bad for our Mexican player. Well, I will say it's still gonna be hard for uh, Aatrox to do much. He doesn't look at his eco is has is. In the toilet. Like, even if Almirante's main keeps getting attacked, he's got rolling eco with an other base. Still has minis around. Yeah, good for Ami to take down that generator in the back. I did miss it. Sorry, everyone, but it happened. Yeah, now that if you look at the yellow of Aatrox, it's nowhere close to anything being done. 
It's funny, he... Despite the fact that Aatrox was trying to kill Paths, he hasn't hit the gens. He's killed just Supply. The gens are still there. And Almi's got an Expo being upgraded. Because he's had some, enough power. Yeah, that's just Ooh. super useful. It's basically a replacement for the main. Uh, well, you can think about it like that at least. Certainly has money for generators should one go there and bound and siphon is in for the grunts. That's gonna be troublesome though. Yeah, here goes Ami losing all the bases. Uh, or, or the buildings. He does have the base upgraded on the other side now. So plenty of supply oh, patterns. Kodiak drop right kaboom. Kodiak drop and oh, that can strip wow. a base fast. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Now he the only way to deal with that is really the warlord. Found the siphon is really gonna be hard to push to tear through these units though. Yeah, also it's hard to problem. kill turrets as well. Because they found the siphon too. But uh Kodiaks do a lot of damage to everything, including grunts that are bound the siphon. So the warlord has to come over here and in he is. Almy's main just has so many grunts on there. <laughs> Hellbringer should be the only answer. Yeah, he has to kill the Warlord. It's the only way. If he kills the Warlord, it's going to be really hard for Aatrox to uh, to rebuild it. He actually heavy metals the uh, Kodiak. I don't know if I like... Actually, <laughs> he's going to live. <laughs> yeah, Kodiak's right now covering each other. The Forchog also buffing up to Kodiak's armor, but... Uh... Is not sticking around. Yeah, Vortex. Vortex. Gonna hit this. Oh, Boundless Life. And this is where it's just so deadly. Yeah, it just keeps working outside of combat even. Shouldn't do, but does. Nah, it's so dumb. Not much we can do about it, sadly. Oh god. All his main does eventually fall. Grunt respawning. <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay, I gotta say, the Kodiaks have encountered really well. They didn't get that much done, so it would be nice to see Ami healing this one. Uh, right now he's working on the Forgehog healing. Lost uh, his main base at home, and now he only has uh, two mini bases to four. That's becoming a problem for sure. Ah oh, yeah, that Kodiak is toast. Yep. It might be enough flamers to kill that hero if he tracked it down, but it doesn't look like it will be. Should be able to hold this base, though. One turret falls. There's more than enough splash damage with the flamers to keep this going. So there is hope here. Itchok still absolutely has no power, by the way, because he's pumping out like jump back roots from uh, attempting to push the, to pump them from two minis. Whoa. Yeah, but not, neither does Almy, and Almy just lost another upgraded supply pad on the other side of the map with the mini. So everything that Almy has is now currently <laughs> right here. He's back with the Kodiaks. You are kidding me. Kodiak, Kodiaks are really the only way he can do this. Oh, he loses the Fortog, though. That's bad. That is bad. Let's see if the Kodiaks can take down the hero there. Oh, so close. They oh, wow, he does. Question now is, can he actually kill all these grunts? They're gonna need a oh, lot of well, splash well. damage to do it. The Kodiaks can cover each other, so that's that's sorted. Uh, as for the Hellbringers, they're providing a lot of help too. That's really not doing that much damage. <laughs> the Kodiaks are fine, man. At least they are gonna be cost effective. Yeah. Ami doesn't have any power income at all either. One Kodiak will go down. But Aatrox just has every mini. <laughs> this he one. does. He does, and he's got the second generator going now. That said, Kodiak did and survive. The... Vortex doesn't kill the pad, though. Really good news for Ami that the grunts don't have mines. <laughs> oh yeah. Imagine losing that gen, wow. The warlord is back though. 
That's a problem. Uh oh. It's crazy how nobody has a single power node in this game. Yep. Because I haven't had time. Let's really save that. Up on the power. Zodiac. Yep, going for the heal. If you're Aatrox now, do you just not upgrade the gens and work your way up to a thousand power, then you drop into Desi. Well, that's one way you can do it. Or you could just take all your grunts that you're spamming across the map with all the minis and just get nodes. <laughs> I mean, Almirante's stuck here. What is he going to do to prevent you from getting all the nodes? Like, just any of the grunts coming in, just slowly pick them off. The Kodiak made it to the healing spire and survived that way. Vehicle back. drop, their Kodiak drop is back. Eventually, this base will die just because he has no way of healing the center. Yeah, four minute tech one game, this, uh, 14 minutes, sorry, uh, that's getting pretty long, and honestly, the, the Havreners are no longer doing their job. Uh, Kodiak, I don't know where it's going, it's going back to the high ground, it looks like. And yeah, Abby's getting stripped. He dropped in Kodiaks again, so he's gonna have three Kodiaks, but does he have enough around the Kodiaks to keep him alive this time? So three Kodiaks might make this doable. Marines will have to come back too from the power node. There's still a lot of blue around the map, by the way, if it was super necessary. The Kodiaks can cover each other again. Sort of. Killing the Brute is pretty big. To that, Vordor is healing himself through the turret damage. Two turrets That's shooting at its, its some care. But three Kodiaks are about to start shooting at it soon because these <laughs> drunks are dead. I mean, mostly. The brute might kill one. Oh my god, Vortex is in. That could Man, maybe kill the base by itself. Holy crap! Oh, no! oh, he barely no doesn't way! save it! <laughs> no way! And he doesn't have enough money to rebuy it. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> if he had that base, I actually think he might have won. Because those three Kodaks are still alive, and all he needs is just vision on that on his main, and the main's dead. Wow, that, I can't believe that just happened. Ami has got to be so angry that he was just a second late. Wow, he has Holy left shit. the chat. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind-the-scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description, and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.